Hello world, welcome back to the Razor RC and we got the Arma Fury. The Fury is a 110 scale electric two wheel drive short course truck and it just came out. Um, super excited about this because Arma has actually kind of gone in a different direction. They've been bringing out more entry level vehicles. I think, you know, obviously with inflation and stuff like that, people are looking for a little bit cheaper alternatives and a lot of you probably not familiar with this, but Arma, you know, used to actually be more of an entry level brand. When they first hit the market, they had a whole two wheel drive lineup. They had the Radiator, which was a two wheel drive buggy. They had the Vortex, which was a two wheel drive, like a stadium truck or truggy. And they got this, the Fury. So they brought back the Fury and the Vortex. We don't have a Radiator out yet. Hopefully they will come back with one of those soon. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, it's pretty exciting because this is a brand new vehicle based off essentially like their gorgon platform their kind of voltage platform and uh, pulling off the body you can see a lot of nice little uh, details here it actually has spectrum logos on this i don't recall that ever being on a horizon uh surface vehicle before but you got some nice little uh, molded fire extinguishers some little stickers for a gas can there fans and stuff like that so pretty nice short course truck some little molded vents and stuff uh, underneath you do have some additional bracing here so it does have these posts which sort of mate into the shock tires and then you just have these body clips you just snap them in and out super easy to get the body on off i think a pretty cool invention um, and it just makes it easy to not have to worry about body clips or losing them or you know you know, using tethers, anything like that. So here's what the truck looks like. And as you can see, it's ridiculously slim. So uh, the original Fury was like a twin vertical plate type design. It had two aluminum plates down the middle, kept everything super compact, battery, all the electronics were straight down the middle. Helped it, you know, handle a little bit better, in my opinion, as well. And they kind of brought it back, but more in a composite style chassis. So it keeps the price quite low but gives you all the performance stuff that you're looking for. As you can see, uh, short course truck tires look very similar to the Sentin tires. I do have the Sentin 4x4, which is their four wheel drive uh, short course 10 scale offering. So, uh, you know, I'm assuming these tires and wheels are compatible. It looks like probably 14 millimeter wheel hexes. Um, you know, you should be able to swap them back and forth. That's what they did with the Gorgon and the Granite. Uh, you know, obviously short course style bumpers, very beefy, especially here in the back. Looks like this would take a lot of impact. Uh, everything is kept really low as you can see it is a low center of gravity uh, style chassis it is a little bit longer than the vortex obviously a short course truck is more like eight scale buggy in length and size so a little bit longer but probably shorter arms uh, front and rear composite shock tires composite shocks all the way around uh, the whole thing is pretty much composite uh, provisions for a fan here in the back 14 turn brushed motors super smooth uh, you know, obviously not crazy fast, but you know, enough to for an entry level vehicle. I think that's pretty cool. Brushed uh, electronics. I think you can actually swap out uh, both the receiver and the, you know, basically all the electronics are modular there, which is kind of cool. I believe you can use your own receiver and then um, actually adjust this to use that. Uh, you do have a servo here in the front, metal gear, waterproof, pretty basic servo for the two wheel drive vehicle, but should work totally fine. As you can see, no dryer shafts or anything in the front. They are free wheeling. You got the Nerf bars and then the bottom loading compartment. So this does come in two versions, a radio run as well as one with a battery. The uh, one with the battery is uh, $200 if I recall correctly. And the one sort of radio run without battery, I think is 170 if I'm I'm not mistaken so uh pretty economical everything's under 200 bucks battery battery uh bottom mountain battery loading here as you can see uh the one with the battery does come with a seven cell nickel metal hydrate 3300 milliamp hour battery but you can run lipo uh if you so choose we'll use an ic3 connector there or ec3 connector there on the bottom battery bottom line bleh, bottom loading battery actually works pretty well on this. this is one of the few vehicles i actually like it on. i think it actually works pretty well um, does have a slipper clutch as well very stout gearing here in the back so you can definitely run 2s 3s maybe even 4s if you're you know <laughs> trying to squeeze the battery in there um, but yeah very nice durable platform overall and then the price is obviously all right i think it's super well equipped i mean look at the other stuff you get it actually comes with a two and a half millimeter uh allen wrench here uh, another two millimeter hex driver there Pretty cool. I've never seen that, especially on an entry level vehicle. You just don't see that. Four double A's included, so it has everything you need. Bind plug, uh, this sort of multi wrench tool, which you use on the wheel nuts as well as the shocks. Additional preload spacers if you want the shocks to feel a little bit stiffer, that helps. 
The one with the battery and charger comes with this, the S120 uh, USB style uh, battery charger with the uh, cable there, a little card with some additional information, QR codes if you want to look it up. And then the manual and stuff. You do have a pretty substantial manual. I mean, it comes in different languages, but pictures, uh, pretty uh, thorough. And then a technical pack, which just has additional information, how you set your slipper, how to adjust uh, your gearing, that kind of thing, uh, as well as a parts diagram. So yeah, pretty nice uh, little truck overall. The radio comes with is the SLT2, probably the best of the super budget radios. Foam wheel actually feels decent. Trigger is fairly light, uh, not huge, but you know, I think it'll fit most hands correctly. And then it does have the four double is here in the handle no stand or anything so you just tend to kind of plop it down like that uh, but adjustments are steering trim and steering dual rate you do have a power limiter so if you want to run it on less than 100 percent power you can run on 75 or 50 percent and steering uh reversing there on the servo as well as the a power button so it's a very basic 2.4 gigahertz radio but in my opinion actually works pretty well for this type of class of vehicle so anyways there's a quick look at the fury next thing we gotta do is go out and drive it Right, got our seven cell nickel metal hydride battery fully charged and plugged in and uh, we're ready to run the Arma Fury. A little bit of a different basher location, I think. A little bit more appropriate for something like this. Full throttle. Full throttle downhill. Kind of what it looks like. Suspension action, well, traction actually works quite well. Quite impressed with the tires. Slipper seems all right. Pretty, pretty well set, I think. Look at this rough stuff. This loose stuff. Actually, two-wheel drive. Not bad very low to the ground it's it's probably the lowest lowest set truck or truck i can ever remember you know <clears throat> it's got the massive fender flares but i think one advantage of that is it's got huge huge like sort of wheel wells so even though the body is crazy low it's and the whole truck overall feels super low It, uh, it doesn't seem to rub. So say what you will about the body, but functionally it works quite well. There we go, a little jump there. Shift it out. <laughs> Candles actually really good. I mean, server's obviously slow, motor's obviously slow, but it's a hundred and fifty dollar or hundred and eighty dollar car, hundred and seventy dollar car. Um, You, you got to give one thing to armor. They they really set their cars like extremely well. Like they handle probably the best out of all the you know sort of bashers out there out of the box. Suspension set was perfect. Tires actually worked really well. Um, lightweight, low to the ground. It feels very LCG. It feels very. I'd even say you know much closer to a race truck than anything else. Um, obviously, it's not fast. The electronics are all budget, but I think especially you put in the right KV 2S motor, a little bit quicker server, maybe radio if you want to. I don't think you have to. Um, I think this thing would work pretty dang good. It's fun. I haven't flipped it once.
So this RC car under 200 bucks? I mean, it's a different, it's really a different class of vehicle. It's not a uh, speedster. It's more of a full on pin scale, like race. I mean, it's a basher, but it drives way more like a race truck than. Like, if you took this out to your local track and we're just running around in a, you know, novice or rookie class, um, I think people would be shocked. They, they would think it was like a, you know, a race brand from another manufacturer. Let's just put it at that. It feels really light, too. I mean, it's it's got the super skinny, narrow chassis. Doesn't roll a ton. Suspension is flat out perfect for dirt, for sure. Easy to drive. Yeah, I think this is shockingly quite good. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, I've driven like the other, like the low C22 SDT. This is way better in my opinion. Uh, no offense to Lucy, but this is a much better two-wheel drive short course truck. Um, yeah, just all the way around. Uh, anyways, uh, there you go. Quick first look at the Armour Fury. I think the battery is getting a little low, but uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe buttons. Look for more videos soon. Thanks for watching.